Hello, it's Helen, and welcome back to the channel, or welcome for the first time if you're new. As you can probably tell by the title of today's video, I'm going to be talking about how I wrote a letter for every person in my senior class, as well as how I actually make them. This is the fat stack of letters that I have. About 45 are actually for people in my senior class, and the other 15 are for either staff members or people in other grades. I tried to make all of them as unique as possible, which is pretty difficult when you're trying to accommodate for like 60 people, but I think I pulled it off in the end, as you'll hopefully see in some of the letters that I showcase here. Unfortunately, I can't show some of my favorite ones on here because the people that they're for watch my videos and I don't want to spoil it for them, but I'm really proud of all of them and hopefully you can kind of get a gist of what I did from the ones that I can show. These aren't all the supplies that I use, but they're the ones I'm using for today's letter. I have scissors, erasable pens, the letter and envelope, washi tape, stickers, adhesive tape, and the seal that goes on the back. As for the actual content of the letter, you can write pretty much whatever you want, but since mine were in the context of graduation, mine were mostly about well wishes for the future. This particular letter is for Harrison, so Harrison, if you're watching this and you don't want it spoiled for you, don't watch any further. So my first step is always writing the person's name. Usually I ended up writing it more than once because I wouldn't like it the first time or I would mess up on the font that I used, so I would try different ones. Really nice to have erasable pens for this purpose because I messed up a lot. I ended up going with a simple font here, but an easy way to make your letter more unique, especially if you're only writing to one person or the people you're writing to have shorter names, is to look up fonts on Google and try and copy some of those. I did that with quite a few of my letters and I really liked how they turned out, so I would recommend it. I also wrote the names on a separate piece of paper so that I could redo them as many times as I want and also to add some color to the background. For this particular one, I had to do a little bit of reshaping because I didn't cut it into a perfect rectangle the first time, but usually it doesn't take very long, and it ends up looking better at the end. I then put some adhesive tape on the back to stick it down, and put it as close to the middle as I can get it. The next part is where I usually start adding more unique elements to the letter. So generally, my step after putting the name on the envelope is to start putting washi tape around the name. I pretty much always choose a color scheme at the beginning, so this one is blue and green, and I use blue and green washi tape around it. Obviously, you don't have to do it the same way that I did. Some of them I put them on the side, some of them I put them at a diagonal, sometimes I put them directly on the edge of the name, and sometimes I put them above. It just depends on what you're feeling like and what you think looks best with the name that you have. The nice thing about washi tape is that you can take it off as many times as you need to because it's not so sticky that it stays on forever or rips the paper but sticky enough so that it will stay on for as long as you need it to. As you'll see throughout the course of this video, I definitely took advantage of that because I changed my mind a lot. The only thing is, if you're going to layer washi tapes like I did, you're going to want to fix the bottom layer before you start doing your new to top layers. Also, if you decide to put stickers later and the stickers overlap with the washi tape, those don't usually come off, so definitely fix all the tape before you put anything else on. I decided to use kind of a wreath sticker for this one, but I didn't want it to be a perfect circle like it is because there's no way the name would fit inside of it, so I decided to cut it in half. Obviously I rounded out the edges a little bit to make it look right, but for the most part it was pretty simple. I was really torn how to place these because even though I liked the way they looked next to the name, the way that I did the washi tape kind of clashed with it at first and I wasn't really sure how I was going to fix that, and I was also thinking that I wanted to put another sticker with it, but I wasn't sure how I was going to do that and it didn't seem like there would be any way to make them symmetrical, so it took me a long time to figure out the placement that I wanted to do. I had this problem with certain other letters as well, mostly because not all the stickers are the same size, but your letters don't have to be perfectly symmetrical as long as they're balanced. I was really determined at first that I was going to use this little ice cream sticker, so I was trying to find one to go with it, but a lot of the stickers that I had either didn't quite match the color scheme or were just slightly off in terms of size or style, to the point where I felt like it wasn't quite right. This other little sticker was the closest I had, but I didn't really like that it had text on the bottom, so I decided to cut it off, but then I ended up not using either of them anyway, so it didn't really matter. I also decided to pick out another thinner washi tape that went with the blue and green theme that you'll see in a second to go over top of some of the stickers and other washi tape that I had. If you're looking to get into letter writing or something like bullet journaling, I would say washi tape is probably one of the best ways to start. 
The thicker solid color pastel washi tapes that I'm using I found on sale, and the thinner ones I think I found on Amazon for like 50 in a pack, and I think it was only like $10, so I would recommend looking for something like that if you're not really sure where to start. I readjusted this part so many times because I just didn't quite like how it looked, but I ended up liking it at the end after I fixed it like 20 times. My last step is that I usually like to add accents with markers so that I can add a little bit of a pop to the rest of the background. I usually use either the color that I use to write their name to do this, or one of the other theme colors. Most of the time, I usually do dots along the edge, lines around the stickers, or just straight lines on the top and bottom. This one I use just accent lines, corner markers, and some dots on the top and bottom. And that's about it. The final step is to put some washi tape on the edge to make sure it stays closed, and then put some adhesive tape down so that you can stick down your seal. You could do the seal directly on the letter, but I generally just do it on wax paper and peel it off and stick it on the letter because I'm afraid of messing it up, and if I mess it up on the letter, there's nothing I can do about it. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed, maybe learned something if that's what you were looking to do, and I'll see you in the next one. Thank you.